Have you ever checked your website traffic in Google Analytics and noticed a lot of it is marked as direct? This happens when you don't use proper UTM links and it makes it hard to know where your visitors are coming from or which campaigns are working. In this video, I'll explain the basics of UTM URLs, what they are, why they're so important for tracking and how they can help you avoid losing valuable insights about your traffic in Google Analytics. Let's get started. So what exactly is a UTM URL? Well, think of it as a regular website link, but with a twist. A UTM URL includes extra parameters or tiny tags added to the end of the link that help you track where your website traffic is coming for. For example, instead of just saying apexure.com, your link might look like this, where it has apexure.com, including UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, UTM term, and UTM content. These little tags let you track clicks and measure the effectiveness of your campaigns. It's like having superpowers to see exactly what's working and what's not. And what does UTM stand for? It's short for Erkin Tracking Module. This system was created by a company called Erkin Software, which was later acquired by Google. It became the backbone of what we know today as Google Analytics. Well, it all sounds fancy, but all you need to know is UTM means better campaign tracking. UTM tracking uses five main parameters. The first one is UTM source, which identifies the source of your traffic. For example, if you're sending traffic from Facebook, Twitter, or a newsletter, then you would use that information. The next up is UTM underscore medium, which specifies the marketing channel or the medium through which the traffic is coming. So this could be email or paid or CPC. And then we have UTM underscore campaign, which specifies the name of the campaign. This helps you track specific marketing campaigns like summer spring or a summer sale or new launch or Black Friday. So we use probably like a product code or a slogan or a product and all that information can go into UTM underscore campaign. UTM underscore term, which is optional, but it's usually used for paid search campaigns to identify keywords. Next up, we have UTM underscore content, which also is, by the way, optional. It differentiates similar content within the same ad or link, like, for example, um, button link or text link. So help you to identify exactly which part of the ad the user came from. Imagine you're running a Google ad campaign to promote your new service. Instead of just pasting your URL, you can create a URL with UTM parameters like this. Here, notice UTM underscore source is Google, UTM medium is CPC, UTM campaign is designer, and UTM term is higher landing page designer. And finally, the UTM underscore content is Unbound's site link. So when users click on this link, Google Analytics will record that the traffic came from Google, which was part of a paid search campaign called Designer, and the keyword which matched the user's query was Higher Landing Page Designer. The cool thing is you don't have to remember how to actually build this URL yourself with all these symbols. I'll show you exactly how to do it in a much more simple and easy way. To create UTM links, Head over to Google search and search for UTM Builder. The first URL which starts with ga-devtools.google is the one which you should click. Once you click it, it'll open up this form and you can enter your details. For example, the website URL. So in this case, I'm using apexure.com and I'm going to be sending traffic from Facebook and the medium is going to be cost per click, CPC and uh, inside Facebook ads, I have a campaign for targeting the designer keyword and the campaign term is higher landing page designer and the campaign content is unbounce underscore site link. So once I fill all this information, it'll basically show me everything in here, which I can preview. If I want, I can even shorten this based if I have a connection with Bitly, I can leave it as is. I can simply copy this. And now I have a fully formed URL with all the UTM links. Here are some quick tips to remember when building UTM links. Number one, use a consistent and clear naming convention. 
anytime when you make a mistake so let's say you in one utm link call utm source facebook and in the other fb and in the third facebook.com it can lead to fragmented reporting which can make it harder to assess the overall performance of your facebook ads or in essence any source so in this example i have listed out how you can try to avoid uppercase so for example facebook or mailchimp can be just facebook lowercase mailchimp and then try to use hyphens instead of spaces so for example here if i have 30 percent off i would just call it everything as summer hyphen sale hyphen 30 under hyphen off so that way is easy and consistent and uh, for medium um utm medium every time when you have email use a lowercase email and uh, for cpc you could can use local case uh, CPC and for social as well. This is how you can manage and scale your UTM links. What about uh, when you have a team and you have multiple people working with you? In that case, I would also suggest using a shortener. So a URL shortener basically just takes in the entire URL including the UTMs and gives you a shorter links which can be easily shared across social media and once you share it if somebody clicks on it you can manage it as well so for example I use this tool called rebrandly and uh, it's a very simple tool whenever you want to create a new link you can paste it in here and once you have a link it will allow you to create UTM information so you can add all your source medium LinkedIn um, you know campaign information and then once you have it you can copy the link as a shortened link so I've linked it up with my or hooked it up with my domain which I bought through rebrandly so now it shows up the link as for simbisha YouTube dot links which is short for wbyt.link book a call and then anytime if somebody does click on the call um, I would see that information here so for example, this particular link has got link clicks coming through and I can see exactly when it was clicked and where it was clicked. There's a premium version of Rebrandly which you can also pay, which will allow you to see some more metrics. I don't actually pay Rebrandly for that particular package. I currently use a free plan for Rebrandly, but I do have paid domains linked up with it. So anytime it shortens the link, it uses those shortened URLs. So. This is the way you can kind of manage all your links in one place and also measure their performance over time. And eventually, if you want to pay this tool, you can get access to a lot more metrics. Now that you know the basics of UTM URLs, why stop here? If you're ready to take your marketing to the next level, I've created a comprehensive course on UTM tracking that walks you through everything from building your first UTM link to capturing data and tools like Unbounce, WordPress and HubSpot and more. In the course, we also cover adding UTMs to Google Ads and Facebook Ads, viewing reports in GA4 and even tips for managing UTM efficiently through tools like Google Sheets. And as a thank you for watching, I've got a special offer for you. Use the coupon code WBYT to get 20% off in the course. Don't miss this chance to master UTM tracking and finally get clarity on what's driving results in your campaigns. Click the link in the description to enroll now and I'll see you inside the course.